Hey guys, today I want to talk about something that I've been seeing a good amount of complaints about. What a, what a surprise that is. And that is the feeling of power at max, well, power level. I've been seeing, you know, I don't feel powerful at max power. I feel like I should be more powerful. And this is a somewhat difficult feeling to solve. Can you solve feelings? It's a diff difficult problem to solve is probably the correct phrase. The root of the issue comes from how the game is balanced and scaled. It is scaled as a shooter, not an RPG. So taking power to its absolute core level, the ability to kill things quickly, in Destiny needs to be handled differently because a lot of things already die really quickly. When you're 300 power, you're going around basically demolishing everything with your guns anyway, right? Everything in the game is very low light level for the most part. So how can you make someone feel more powerful when they're already killing things instantly? The game is also scaled in a way where you can do low level activities with your friends without completely annihilating everything. The game is always going to be somewhat of a challenge or a threat regardless of your level. Next is the comparisons to Destiny 1 as what usually happens with these sort of complaints. People felt powerful in the Heroic Strike playlist and the Nightfall playlist, but obviously that's not completely because of gear. That was because of modifiers that usually boosted your killing potential considerably so. Of course you're going to feel powerful when grenades regenerate every three seconds and do double the normal damage. The same goes for Torrent in Destiny 2, the only modifier we've seen that boosts your abilities without drawback. But this is not your gear making you stronger. There were things like ability cooldowns being much quicker, or exotics modifying your abilities more than they do now, it's very true as well. We also had many weapons that are now in the power slot only in the energy slot in Destiny 1. Shotguns and snipers were very strong, and now we don't have as much access to that kind of weaponry. Imagine if we had the Destiny 1 weapon system for the Baths encounter in Prestige Leviathan, for example. It would be very, very easy. We had intellect, discipline, and strength, of which the quantities of those stats grew when you got more powerful gear, although the amount of stats capped out on legendary gear, which was easy to get, and still is. Then we have stuff like prestige activities, and I would argue that you're not really supposed to feel powerful in prestige activities. They're designed to be always difficult. That's why they're 300 power activities. They're the mythic raids of World of Warcraft equivalent, more about execution than power levels and gear. Although I know things tend to get easier with gear in World of Warcraft and other MMOs at a much faster rate than it does in Destiny. Prestige activities are the only truly super challenging PvE content activities in the game. Destiny is a game where power is not as visible in the gear drops you get, although they are to a degree, but more so in the knowledge you gain in how to be a better player. Kind of like most shooters in general. You go look at Overwatch, Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six. These are all shooters, and you gain power in these games by being a better player, not by having better gear. Destiny is treated more like a shooter than an RPG, and I think that rule applies to Destiny. You go look at games like Dark Souls, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, Warframe, they're all more RPG focused, treated with an RPG mindset, balance, scaling, the whole nine. You load up Dark Souls with the best, most upgraded stuff, you're gonna bash your way through some starter zones, and that's the same with any MMO. And yeah, I know you can go through all of Dark Souls naked with a level one weapon, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to appeal to the masses here. The issue is that Destiny is a hybrid of both. Destiny technically has a starter zone, but all content is relevant everywhere. So it doesn't feel like a starter zone compared to other RPGs. If you wanted more of an RPG feel, you would need to scale the game in a way that would really show powerful guns being powerful by ripping off huge chunks of enemy health. I use this example specifically because it is the most general situation I could think of for trying to explain this. The Division had this problem. People cannot escape the mindset that even though you were shooting people in the head with a gun, they wouldn't die quickly. The game is scaled and built first as an RPG, then a third-person shooter. 
So imagine that system with Destiny. Huge health bar enemies, but your gear reflected your power much more. Better guns meant better kill times. It's not like that doesn't hold true for Destiny right now, but it's not nearly as noticeable as something like The Division. Low power levels in Destiny reflect it in more endgame activities pretty well, but that's because of how attack versus defense works, or power versus defense works. You aren't gaining power so much as you are negating the defensive capabilities of the enemy. You're becoming less weaker, not more stronger, if that makes sense. Are there other underlying issues as well? Sure. In Destiny 1, again, ability cooldowns were much shorter. In Destiny 2, they're longer. Destiny 2 doesn't appear to have those Gallarhorn Sleeper Stimulant style exotics that just absolutely destroy everything in their path, even though things like Wardcliffe Coil, Legend of Acreus, and Merciless absolutely do wreck face. They just don't have that same sort of prestige for whatever reason. Those are both minor parts of the power situation. Set bonuses on gear is something that is missing as well from Destiny 2, from raid gear specifically, and including those back into the rotation would be a nice thing to have return. You can feel more powerful in certain activities by having those gear sets have set bonuses that promote their use in those activities. A restoration of the Heroic Strike playlist would be fine too, assuming modifiers came with it, although I don't know if this solves the issue completely. Mods having a little more value could help to a degree as well, or mods that upgrade themselves over time since we lost gear upgrading. But since their impact is small on an individual level, too many mods might mean a little too much power. But I think at this point, people would be okay with too much power as opposed to not enough. It's otherwise a bit difficult to make people feel powerful in a game like Destiny the way it is right now. Sure, better weaponry helps, power levels help, but if you're 300 power and struggling in the raid, the gear isn't going to carry you, only the knowledge. Sure, you could argue that for other games too, but I think it applies more in Destiny. You can't solve problems in Destiny by throwing powerful gear at it as much as you can in other games is what I'm trying to say with that. I know I didn't talk about the whole, well, what's the whole point of hitting max power anyway topic in this video. That wasn't the point since that has been beaten to death by now. But yeah, that is what I got for you guys on the feeling of power. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.